Sonic Shield here with a review of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Assassin's Creed Mirage is an action adventure game developed and published by Ubisoft. In it, you explore the origins of Basim, a character from Valhalla, as you seek to save the city of Baghdad from the Order of the Ancients who have seized control. During the 30 hours of playthrough that it took me to complete the story and get all the collectibles, I felt that the game was lacking in content. While I agree with others that Valhalla went overboard on the size and amount of content, Mirage on the other hand, I feel they cut too much from the game. The storyline itself is similar to earlier Assassin's Creed games, where you're given a number of targets and while you're hunting the Orders of the Ancients, you discover secrets are being kept by the Brotherhood, resulting in the final confrontation with your mentor. The investigation system is back, where you must complete quests to uncover clues to reveal the identity of Order members. However, unlike previous games, these quests are pretty generic in my opinion, as they were the usual guard the target, eliminate targets, eavesdrop, steal item quests, etc. None of the investigation storylines really engaged me, and I found myself wanting to skip scenes and moments as I did not find the plot itself engaging. The only investigation that caught my eye was the market investigation, as throughout the game there were notes and clues about an Asian hairpin that was lost and going to be sold in the market. I was disappointed to find out that this hairpin was not an Isu artifact like I thought, but it was just a rare item an order member wanted for their collection and played no real part in the story. The final plot twist at the end of the game itself was also confusing as well. While I understand the purpose of it, none of the other events throughout the game led me anywhere near this and I felt this was added on just to tie the game in with the other games in the series. Gone also is the Animus, which I personally enjoyed exploring. After spending 6 hours in the simulation, it almost felt like taking a break when you left Animus. And I personally enjoyed checking on the mail and world events and reports of what's happening around the world in modern day. Nowhere in the game do you really get any news or updates about current world events and situations, which I was disappointed in because I wanted to know what has been happening around the world since the final events of Valhalla, such as what has Basim and the group been up to? Are they still in the, on the run? What are Basim's plans? And do the rest of the team know what he, he, what he is or what he's done? Gameplay-wise, the game feels clean and smoother smoother for combat and parkour as it took away a lot of the extras from previous games. Like this story, I feel this was simplified too much. There is a moment when you're told by as an assassin you must be proficient in a number of weapons. However, while playing this game, you are restricted to a sword and a dagger. You can't wield a shield, a two-hand weapon, or a spear or anything like that. Not even a bow is an option, which would have been helpful in a number of infiltration missions. While I appreciate the return to the original combat system and the removal of mystical abilities, I feel the removal of weapon selection has gone too far. Given that they simplified the controls, I'm still surprised that the game still struggles with old Assassin's Creed issues when it comes to climbing up buildings and parkouring. I do like the simplified skill tree and the ability to respect skills. This game I play through a little versatility as I was able to reset my skills to suit the task at hand. And I like the tools and the options you had for each tool. This gave me plenty of ways to deal with enemies. The game itself values stealth over direct combat. During fights, you can easily be overwhelmed by three or more enemies, resulting in a quick death. However, I found the enemies themselves to not provide a challenge when approaching situations with stealth. Like all previous Assassin's Creed games, none of the guards have a sense of life preservation and will check the same bush as they watch their fellow guards get dragged in. Overall, I'm disappointed in Mirage. While I appreciate the back to basics approach, I feel they stripped too much from the game. To the point where the game feels more of a demo than an actual game. In addition, if they're removing all the extra features and content, I feel what's in the game should be improved or refined. But instead we get the same Assassin's Creed with less content for the same price in the end. I would give this game 4 out of 10 Steves. What's in the game is okay and acceptable by game standards in the form that it's playable and has an end. However, for the price of $70, I do not feel like I got a $70 worth game. I would recommend getting this game if it's on sale or free on Game Pass. As I feel with everything included, Mirage is, is worth at a maximum $40. If you like this, feel free to like and subscribe and comment below your thoughts on Assassin's Creed Mirage. I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the games that I am reviewing, and Saturdays we play old RPG games. And we'd love to see you there. Until next time, bye-bye for now.